So what do you think of the show? I'm really excited about the show and the turnout of the show. It's wonderful. I think the whole space looks really great. Mm -hmm. um, more than anything, I'm really excited to be showing with the artists that are here. Mm -hmm. Well, can you tell me a little bit about your work? Definitely. Um, the piece that I have here is called El Estuidacano, and um, it's one of my many, sorry, let me get out of the way, and it's one of um, my many performance pieces where I assume um, these sort of hyper-realistic identities, and I perform them, um, I guess, to the T of who you would expect this individual to be, and then um, later on I group those different um, representations of identities together to to really question what is it that you would um, that would, you would view about a specific individual, you know, what is, what is the way that... Um, that you would sort of process what this person is about, what things do you bring to the table, and by, you know, by over the top saying, yo soy Frida Kahlo, as I do in this video, and then afterwards having a video where like, oh my god, like totally, me and my friends were like out at the club, and we were like totally chilling, and then it's like, well, who was that person? You know, that person that just said, yo soy Frida Kahlo, versus, you know, the next, the next identity, and so I really enjoy sort of exploring with that. And it's really been fun to do this at um, at Bruno's gallery, and I think um, sort of the the journey of how this work has um, grown over the last few years has been really exciting, and I'm happy to do this here. So. But a lot of the artistic process is really um, takes place within the space of the web. And so what I do when I show in a gallery is that I um, I allude to that sort of activity. So um, this piece has a screen in it that says the MayaEscobar.com project. So that's sort of like reference to hypertextual language or the existence of this actually being a hyperlink that you would click on and then it like leads to an infinite amount of you know possibilities is very much a big part of my process right now. So this video has been updated to add um, a MayaEscobar.com. On the project, so it's a conceptual uh -huh. project on the website. And I think being an artist is really just like this excuse to do the things that that everyone wants to do, but is maybe too terrified to do. So it's like under the guise of being an artist, you really have um, sort of a free pass in life. And um, and definitely, I mean, I think my 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 characters or my personas are very much modeled after um, real life experiences and. Um, and it's seamless in a way that, like, while I'm while I'm dealing with these sort of um, identity issues or cultural issues, I mean, it's a it's a real thing. I'm not just like putting on a show about something. It's something that I'm like deeply concerned right. with in my own who, who it is that I am and yeah. who other people are. So. Um, and what do you think the implications are with your work about identity? I mean, it it depends. I think it's really cool to show in a place like a gallery, but I think it's very interesting also that this work exists on the internet and the fact that people have access to this to the same degree that they would at a gallery, but then they can feel a certain amount of ownership of, oh, you know, I'm at home and I can watch this, but this is also showing in a gallery. So it's all about um, sort of like conceptual grouping and mapping that of what prioritizes things in our culture. And I think that can that can make really huge shifts in the world of art and, and what it is that we consider to be art and what isn't. So. Great. Thank you so much.